In this video, we're going to be talking about the origin of inspiration. Yes, from the book, Commanding Your Morning by Dr. Sidney Trim. We're going to find out today in this episode how the origin of inspiration is going to help your prayer life go to the next level. Hello, I am Vernitra Thomas, Vernitra Thomas, better known as Tweet. And I am the host and the founder of Next Level Faith Call. And welcome to our book club. Yes, this is our book club. This is actually book club number two. Book club number one went so well. It happened to be The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. Shout out to everyone who joined us in our first book club for 2019. And, you know, it blessed us tremendously for 42 days. We showed up on this book club. And so we decided to do it again. So we're going to be meeting together every day at 830 Eastern Standard Time until about 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's live here on Facebook. So come back and join us. But stick around to this broadcast to the end because um, we're going to be talking about what our goal is. And that is taking your prayer life to the next level. That's why we're meeting. That's why we're having this book club to help take your prayer life to the next level. So thank you all for joining us tonight. Hashtag my purpose driven faith. If you have not already, let me know where you're dialing in from tonight. I'm here in Easley, South Carolina. So let me share a story with you about this book. Why I'm so excited, why I'm fired up, and why this book is our second book club of the year. So um, I'm a person who really enjoys like supernatural things. And when I came across this book, Commanding Your Morning by Dr. Sidney Trim, I was watching the show Sid Roth uh, with It's Supernatural. Now, I'm intrigued with Sid, Sid Roth because... Um, he thinks outside of the box. You know, he's an unusual uh, follower of Jesus Christ. And um, he had someone on his show that looked like me and talked like me. So I was intrigued. I wanted to know more about her. So as I listened to the end of the broadcast, I found out her testimony was unbelievable. That if God could do these things for her, surely he could do them for me. Um, at the time, I was struggling with, in my relationship with my children. I have four of them and um, I was also stuck in my job, I didn't know um, when I was going to be promoted and just didn't know um, when my time was going to come, you know, for something greater to come along. I just felt stuck. Even in my community, I felt like my voice really didn't mean anything and um, like my efforts just really didn't make a difference in my community. But here we are. Fast forward six years later, this book has helped me with my courage and my boldness. And even in my prayer life, I can pray my way through my relationships now with my children. They are God sent. <laughs> yes. Who would have known the power of prayer? You know, even in my finances, I feeling like I was stuck in um, feeling like, you know, my finances were controlling my situations. Well, now I feel I know God is my Jehovah Jireh, like things just show up for me. And, um, you know, I expect my, my business to be blessed, but God blesses me in other ways. So I'm encouraged by this book tonight and I hope that it encourages you. So let's get to the reading tonight. Sit back and relax. Have a good time. Get you a pen and paper. And for those who want to take notes, if not, then just enjoy the read tonight. It's a pretty short read. After we read the highlights of the origin of inspiration, we're going to jump back to the back of the book where the activation declarations are. And I'm excited about it because that's the real meat and the potatoes of the book club tonight. So welcome everyone as you're entering. We're talking tonight about the origin of inspiration. Welcome tonight on night nine. Okay, so 18th century poet and theologian, um, Johanna Gottfried Van Hedder had been quoted saying, without inspiration, the best powers of the mind remain dormant. There is a few within us which needs to be ignited with sparks. Thoughts are spiritual 
And so is the inspirational process. So man begins uh, with a concept in his mind, something he believes he's able to accomplish. He joins it with his will and intellect and his imagination. And these expectations see it through. In Genesis 11, the people thought to themselves that they could build a tower to heaven. And because they saw this tower in their minds, they were able to build it. God stopped them by causing confusion and making it impossible for them to communicate because the tower became an idol for them. However, this story still illustrates the power of our thoughts and words. And this is coming from Genesis 11 and 6. Right here. And the Lord said, behold, they are one people and they have one language. And this is only the beginning of what they will do. And now nothing they have imagined they can do be impossible for them. Oh, isn't that encouraging tonight? Hey, Miss Tina, welcome from Knightsdale, North Carolina. Welcome to the live broadcast tonight. And thank you for hashtagging my purpose driven faith. <laughs> I love it. So let's go on tonight as we talk about our, uh, the origin of inspiration. So we're going to go on to think of change. Think for a change. Every circumstance of your life can be changed for the best. Let me just pause here. When I first came across just that simple sentence, every circumstance in your life can be changed for the best. Oh, I was encouraged. You hear me? Encouraged. Hallelujah. Because I thought I had some impossible situations in my life. <laughs> yes, but it is so true. Think for a change. I love this book. Let's continue. The moment you convert your imagination into intentions and your intentions into actions, a change must occur. A profound example of someone who changed his humble circumstances by means of power of thinking is the composer extraordinaire and music impress impress also um, Quincy Jones. In his words, he was inspired by every band that came through. He had no training at all, but he was fueled by inspiration to learn from every opportunity available. How many of us have been there? Yes. He um, was known to call on Ray Charles in the early mornings, early hours of the morning. Whenever he got in town, he was practically adopted by Count Basie at age 13. As soon as Quincy picked up the trumpet, he heard arrangements of assemblies in his head and his reputation as an arranger grew. I love it. And we're wrapping up now. He is the all time most nominated Grammy award winning artist with the um, total of 97, 97 Grammy nominations. Quincy Jones was inspired. I love it. We're talking tonight about the origin of inspiration. Where does it come from? Our inspiration comes from our thoughts. Praise God. Oh, yes. We're growing. We have 31 more days left. So now let's jump to the back of the book where the activated declarations are. Putting it into practice. I have included a list of activation declarations that you can use during your time of prayer. This is not meant to become a religious a binding practice or a ritual, but as a, as a get guideline and a framework to launch you into practice of commanding your morning. So as you speak out these declarations, I do so boldly, but prayerfully. Okay, so as you speak out these declarations, do so boldly, but prayerfully. Ask the Holy Spirit to guide your words, your thoughts, and your faith as you take command of your day. Every reader's situation is unique, and only you know what your specific needs are. 
This is a guide to expand your understanding of what is possible to help get you started. As you step out in faith, the Holy Spirit will lead you into other areas. He would like you to exercise your authority over. So as you read these declarations, don't just merely read them, but speak them aloud with faith and authority and power. Remember, you're partnering with God to activate his perfect will for your life. You are co-laboring with Christ on your own behalf, as well as on the behalf of those you're praying for. Let today be the unveiling of a fresh anointing in your life. Let today be the day that you apprehend the power that God has allotted for you. Make the activation declarations a vivid part of your prayer routine and watch God turn things around for you. You're on your way to kingdom success and prosperity. Yes. How many of us can believe that right now? Yes. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we love you and we praise you. We thank you so much for this day in which you have made. Hallelujah. God, we're going to continue to rejoice and be glad about today. Believing and knowing you have done great things. Father, as we pray these activation declarations, God, we pray your will will be done. Father, we pray that hope will come back into homes. Marriages would be healed. God, we're praying for miracles. Hallelujah. And health. We're decreeing your word now. We are healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. And no weapon, not one formed against us shall prosper. We will live. Yes together as one to declare your works. God, we thank you for the miracles that are being manifested even now as we speak. We honor you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. I love it. I stand to command my morning and declare it is a new day. I take authority over my day now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every element of my day shall cooperate with purpose and destiny. Today is the dawning of a new day. The season of frustration and failures are over. Today I walk into a season of prosperity and success. Old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. Today, I press towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Anything or anyone assigned to frustrate, hinder or hurt me, I command to be moved out of my sphere of influence in Jesus name. I command my day to fully cooperate with your plan and your original purpose for it. I greet today with the great anticipation. Yes, of all of the good things you have prepared for me. I decree and declare that a new day is dawning for my ministry. Yes, I decree and declare a new day is dawning for my job. A new day is dawning for my business. A new day is dawning for my finances, for my relationships, for my health, for my community. I now download success, prosperity, health, wealth, vision, direction, ingenuity, creativity, spirituality, holiness, righteousness, peace, your abundance of love. Hallelujah. Your abundance of resources from your spirit into my day. Yes. Yes, I have a fresh excitement. I have a fresh renewed mind, the mind of Christ that causes me to think on those things which are good, those things that are true, those things that are noble and reputable and authentic and compelling and gracious. I have the mind of Christ. God, thank you. Even a fresh zeal today, Z -z zeal, more pep in my step and a fresh anointing. And this anointing that is fresh on my life, it is uncontaminated and uncompromised by this anointing. Every yoke is broken and destroyed off of my life. Every burden is now being lifted. God, you said your yoke is easy. Yes, I claim it. And your burden is light. 
all powerful God. Welcome into my life. God place your anointing upon me. Now the anointing that is on my life repels every individual with a diabolical assignment. Let the anointing flow uncontaminated and uncompromised upon my life. The anointing that is on my life for this season, for this mission, for this mandate, for this purpose attracts only those with divinely ordained assignments in Jesus name. Father, cause me to hear your loving kindness this morning, for I do put my trust in you. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk, for to you I lift up my soul. Teach me your will, for your spirit is good. You are my God. Lead me into the land of of righteousness for your name's sake. Synchronize my life with your perfect will, your perfect agenda in your calendar. Superimpose your will over the will of evil spirits and evil men. Empower me to serve you in holiness and righteousness. Grant me divine kingdom asylum and diplomatic immunity from evil that seeks to entrap me and imprison me. Since my times are in your hands, you will deliver me from the hands of the enemy enemy and from those who try to prosecute me. Dismantle evil powers working to frustrate my day, activities, and assignments. Twart the arrows shot towards me by day and cause night terrors to cease. Rescue me from my enemies, O God, for I hide myself in you. Cause the east winds of judgment to blow into the enemy's camp. Stop the diabolical cyclones and the demonic winds designed to bring shipwreck and disaster into my life. (laughs) Cause divine and fresh winds of the Holy Spirit to blow. (sighs) Yes, let the west winds of replenishment, the north winds of abundance, the south winds of restoration and supernatural supply blow perfectly. Profusely. <laughs> God, thank you for assigning angels as my divine escorts and as my supernatural security. Let these angels marshal the boundaries and the borders of my spheres of influence. Let these angels dismantle and destroy satanic strongholds and dispossess satanic squatters. Close up the gates of death and seal up the doors of affliction and torment. Open divine gates of access to new doors and windows of opportunity. God, open new windows of divine inspiration. Open new insight and revelation. Hallelujah. God, open paths of righteousness, avenues of success and prosperity, multiple streams of income with positive cash flow, highways to places of divine assignments and prosperity, and even channels of deliverance and transition. God, teach me your way. Yes, so that I may know how to uh, conduct my affairs in the most discerning and expeditious and wise manner. Open my eyes to cutting edge technologies and methodologies and tactics and even strategies that would aid me in doing your will. Hallelujah. Father, allow only those with divinely ordained assignments to be drawn to me. Let your Holy Spirit, his understanding, his wisdom, his might, his counsel, his knowledge, the fear of the Lord, and even the prophetic insight be upon me now. God, thank you. Hallelujah. Grant me the ability to hear from you clearly as you give me insight, witty ideas, creative inventions. Open my ears and let your word inspire me to righteousness. Open my ears and let your symphonic movements of the spirit lead me and guide me into all truths cause my spiritual eyes to function with 2020 vision for the correct insight for the correct understanding for the correct interpretations of the movements of God hallelujah God thank you let not my eyes be seduced by the spirit of covetousness or by my mind, by the pride of life, but make my feet as hinds feet over my trouble. Lead me along the paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Holy Spirit, give me new living technology.
technologies. God, give me new, better living strategies. Hallelujah. Upgrade me with kingdom technologies and kingdom methodologies. And I receive the supernatural discipline to implement them in my life now. God, I thank you that you're strengthening the hedge of protection around my life, around my family, around my friends in Jesus name. Almighty God, bless the works of my hands and allow awesome work opportunities to come into my life. Advances, raises and bonuses, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, assets, investment strategies, benefits and promotions, overtime, customers and clients, visions and dreams, multi-million dollar ideas, inventions and strategies, writing abilities, bestsellers and classics. God bless the works of my hands for, for theological insights and innovative goods and top of the world class services. God bless us with sales and commissions, favorable settlements, estates and inheritance, interest in dividends, multiple streams of income with positive cash flow, profits and bonuses, rebates and returns, checks in the mail, unexpected financial blessings, wealth transfers, royalties, because we are part of the royal priesthood. God bless us with real estate, secret riches and hidden treasure, favor with creditors, Increased income, bills paid, debts canceled, debt demolished. God, thank you for money to pay off the mortgage, money to pay off student loans. God, thank you for supernatural increase and supply. Synergetic relationships that are both mutually beneficial. People are pouring into us and we're pouring into others. God bless us with divine health and divine networks. All of the hookups and the connections. God bless us with quantum progress, accelerated growth and development. You're teaching us new ways of living together and introducing us to new ways of working together. God, we love it. Even the strategic positioning, this circumstance, this situation we're in, it is by no accident. God, you have strategically positioned us to receive unexpected gifts and wonderful surprises. Hallelujah. God, we thank you for the condominiums and the favorable contracts, even the automobiles, financial freedom, living debt, free living. God, we're praying for the mechanics that, that are working on the automobiles. God, we're praying for the car salesmen, the people who are assembling these, these vehicles, these automobiles. We're praying for them in Jesus name that you would bless them exceedingly and abundantly bless us. Holy spirit with self-sustaining cash flow, money management skills and time management skills and mind management skills and even leadership skills and effect Effective communication skills and negotiation skills and crises management skills and change management skills and even resource management skills and trailblazing skills. We're a kingdom millionaires. Hallelujah. We are kingdom millionaires. We not only make millions, but we give millions away to let integrity and uprighteousness preserve us. For we have waited on you and God, you're here showing up and showing out. Father, we wait to see your finished product. We look forward to the day that we will be transformed into the image of your dear son, Jesus Christ. Our greatest, deepest heart's desire is to be like him. We now seal these declarations in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, our Lord and Savior. Now unto him that, that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we could ask for or imagine according to the power at work on the inside of us. To him that is able to keep me from falling, to present me faultless before his presence of exceeding joy. God, thank you. Hallelujah. For sustaining my body, my soul and my spirit to the only wise and true God. Hallelujah to the King eternal be glory, be honor forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. God, we praise you in Jesus name. Hallelujah. The highest praise. Amen. Amen. 
powerful today. Woo! Yes. I want to thank everyone for joining us tonight on day nine. So listen, as we wrap up the conclusion, this is the essence of a new day. And I want to encourage you because some people think that their day starts when they first get up in the morning. Your day starts when you are consciously aware that God is in control. OK, so it's like our days reset themselves in the middle of the day, if that makes sense. Hallelujah. It's like um, being born all over again. OK, so this is the essence of a new day. So in our newness, in our um, and our forgiveness, you know, in our wholeness, in our completeness, this is the truth. This is the beginning of a new day. You have been given this day to use as you will. So you can waste today or you can use it for good. But what you do with today, it is important because you're exchanging a day of your life for it. So when tomorrow comes, this day will be gone forever. In its place is something you have left behind. Let it be something good. And this is written by the author is unknown. Isn't that a blessing that someone would just give this beautiful poem away to whoever can receive it? The essence of a new day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. As we talked about the origin of inspiration we are now on YouTube, so make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Vernitra Thomas. And we're also getting our branding um, all together with Next Level Faith Call. But for now, you can follow me to get hold of more of these inspirational videos. And on my YouTube channel, there are lots of uh, poems and inspirational words and motivation and encouragement from God's word. So be sure to check out my YouTube channel. And for more information about Next Level Faith Call, perhaps you have a prayer request or you want to partner with us or you want to sow a seed, you can email us at nextlevelfaithcall at gmail.com. I am Vernitra Thomas, better known as Tweet. Thank you for watching this video. Come back and join us tomorrow on day 10 as we're going to be talking about, let's see what tomorrow is all about. Because I always like to leave you all with something to look forward to. Think for a change. We're going to finish wrapping up Think for a Change and what that's all about. So thank you all again. Please share this video if you have not already and bring somebody back with you. Because sharing is caring. Good night, everyone. And thank you. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Peace.